whole lot of raw, had to move with the rap Just like the mob, throwing these bullets Just like the mob, switch up my plate Just like the mob, these niggas be snitches and fuss if I ain't got nothing, yeah, I got the real blood. nigga, bitch. We go to hood, I see if niggas. I don't be nothing, dumb, go smoke, boy. I'm a good stuff for the whole Jack lot of rock. A whole lot of raw, had to move with the rap. Just like the mob, throwing these bullets. Just like the mob, switch up my plays. Just like the mob, these niggas be snitches and fuss. If I ain't got nothing, yeah, I got big trust. These bitches be cruddy as fuck. If I ain't got nothing, yeah, I got big trust. I was just stuck with a whole lot of rock. Welcome to Mob Life Entertainment. It's your boy Sway, dead Prezzy Breeze. And... Mug Life is associated with Jack Life Entertainment, Jack Life TV. My boy Money Mug, new single, Big Trust, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify. You can find it anywhere. It's with that Money Mug, Big Trust. Boy doing a lot of things. His business career really picking up. And this channel, this channel is an entertainment channel. It's not just a sports channel. Anybody know how I do on my show? I check the time. Remember, I said I came down here to check niggas in the whole night, especially you, son. I check all. If you run around the cabin, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna check. You got a problem with it? Don't watch the show. Don't click on it. Don't come here. This ain't for you. Go somewhere else. You like all that cat and shit? Cat and hook? Cat and hook? You like niggas lying? Go there. Don't click on this shit. So don't jump in the comment section and run in your mouth. Cause I'm gonna do my research on you and then I'm coming for you. And I'm gonna expose you. And you gonna be looking stupid. So to avoid all that shit don't come over. This ain't for you, bro. Go somewhere else. Now, I've been in the process of moving. A lot of other stuff I have to take care of. And been a lot of news I ain't been able to record on. And you got the situation, everybody know I'm a Lakers fan. You know what I mean? Five hundred. And the Lakers just got Montrez Hurl, sixth man of the year. Dennis Stroller, sixth man of the year, one up. Along with a couple other players. Now, you got a lot of moves that's been going on in the NBA. You got the James Harden situation, Kyrie and KD, their first uh, preseason game. The boys showed out, they did their thing, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm going to get into a couple of things like the Giannis Antetokounmpo signing and, and what that means for the league, what it means for the Bucks and the rest of the NBA. Man, I got a few minutes out of spend, so we're going to get into it. Okay, according to multiple reports, two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo agrees to the five-year extension, $228 million with the Milwaukee Bucks. Man saying he's blessed to be with the team and able to be a part of that franchise. Let's make these years count. Let's get it. Tweeted out by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, what does this mean for the league? That means you just might not see Giannis go join LeBron and AD or go join KD and Kyrie due to the previous statements he said. Now, in the previous statements he said, he was praising LeBron. He, 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 he don't care about being number one if them dudes that come to it. Milwaukee and play with him, he'll take a back seat even if he got to be a third option. He just want to win. Now, me personally, I said he was recruiting people to the Bucks. Everybody, they made their own conclusion. Like I told y'all, you bring the facts first and then people create the narrative. They, they created a narrative that AD, nor LeBron, nor KD were both to Milwaukee. So for that to happen, people had to leave the Bucks and go to either the next or the Lakers. And due to the praises that he was giving LeBron, saying he's the best player in the world and all that, uh, everybody assumed, oh, you going to the Lakers. Now, I didn't take it that way. But it does make sense. That was the only way it can work unless them dudes go down there to a smaller market. Now, how many superstars going to go to a smaller market and leave a big market like the Lakers? You know what I'm saying? You can make the case that the next is a bigger market than uh, the Bucks also. So, how many people are going to leave a bigger market and go to a smaller one? I don't know. 
But we can put that to rest unless a, a trade happens. And that'll be a massive trade blockbuster trade. Unless that happens, you got it. Let it go. But I like this for Giannis. Giannis is my favorite player. I root for the underdogs. He got a lot of holes in this game he got to work on. But his game right now, as of now, he's a two-time MVP, back-to-back -back MVP, defensive player of the year, MVP, all in one year. That's greatness. It's a small list. Three people who done that. Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, he got to get a jump shot. And he got to play bigger in the playoffs where it really counts. Yeah, all this regular season stats and all that is cool. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you want to win, you got to elevate his game. You got to work on it. He got to get better. And I'm pretty sure the boy going to get better. I, I don't put no doubt. I don't doubt it at all. He definitely going to get better. Now, the East looking better because you got KD and Kyrie out in Brooklyn. You got Bill and Westbrook down at, down in Washington. And everybody doubting the Wizards. The Wizards going to probably be a fifth seed. Y'all can doubt him all you want. Yeah, he might. Uh, uh, Westbrook might mess things up when he get in the playoffs. Make things personal and mess up what they try and do. But in the regular season, the dudes gonna they, they gonna ball out and Westbrook gonna get them in the playoffs. They just might be a fifth seed. I got them being the fifth seed. And like I said, you got Boston, you got Kemba, Tatum, Brown, all them dudes down there. You know what I'm saying? The East East got better. Let's just say that. The East definitely got better. I wouldn't want to see Giannis out there. I wouldn't be mad if it happens. I wouldn't want to see him out there in the West taking a back seat to LeBron and them because it's going to stunt his growth by him taking a back seat. It'll be unstoppable, but it's going to stunt his growth. But the boy got a chance to take over the East. He already, what, get his team number one seeds and stuff like that, but like I said, you got to show up in the playoffs. Now, it'll be good to see the Nets and Milwaukee in the conference finals. Oh yeah, and Atlanta got better with Trey Young, uh, Bobo, Bogdanovich, uh, they got Gallinari, they got Rondo as a backup point guard. Rondo, he got to start playing better in the regular season. He do his thing in the playoffs, he on the playoff Rondo. Yeah, do his thing. But in the regular season, for the Lakers, he really sucks. Let's just keep it hunting. He keep it all the way back. He sucked in the regular season. But he was the only other playmaker. And that's why he was real important for the Lakers. And he showed why he was that important in the playoffs. Now, Giannis take over the East. He got a chance to go to multiple finals in the East. This is the game that he already has right now. Now, once he get better, the boy in the jump shot is over. He ain't stopping. And everybody down in the butt saying, they, look, Chris Middleton is a 50 40 90 player. If you don't know what 50 40 90 is, go look it up. It's a small list of players who had a season where they shot. 50% from the field, 40% from the three, 90% from free throwing. Larry Bird, KD, Dirt. Paul Pierce, if I'm not mistaken, Steve Nash is a small list. But he's part of that. He's an all-star. And that's a great company to be in. And now they got Drew Holiday, who's a phenomenal two-way player. And they can still make something happen. And Bucks did make a lot of mistakes and putting that information about signing Bogdanovich out early messed that up and that would have been way better for the Bucks. But I still got the Bucks being a top three seed from one to three. They gonna be up there. I don't I don't I don't put it past them. I don't. You in the East. Like y'all say the East is weak. LeBron ran through it. Went to the West, now a lot of stars going to the East. And that's why I say the East getting better. But this max extension, I don't know if it's going to stagnate the team from getting other stars because it's hard to recruit in a small market. And St. LeBron go through it. He really couldn't recruit no big stars. Who, who came down there? 
Uh, we got Kevin Love to come down there. He traded for Kevin Love, but Kevin Love not, not even. He wasn't no playoff player, done nothing for real. Then his career set got to some All Star games. Same thing with Kyrie Irving, but he was already drafted here. And he all he did was All Star games, never seen a playoff game. He big hitter now. I'm gonna get to, get into that in a whole nother video. Sure, he way big hitter, but he one of my favorite players. But he, he always in his own way. He always stepping on his own toes. And he got me now after, after winning that shit. And people say Kobe is his favorite player. And his situation is similar to Kobe. He ain't wanna be the little brother no more. He want to be the big brother and lead his own team. We see how it works out. If anybody wants to say, oh, hey, there's a lot of things that came into play. Yeah, it was, but the main reason why they felt was Kyrie. The big thing he got up without Kyrie. And he even playing more, even more better now that Kyrie is in Brooklyn. And then when he went to Brooklyn, it was a mess his first year in Brooklyn. And they played better without him and got to the playoffs. So, like I said, he always in his own way, but. He ain't one of my favorite players. He ain't my top ten players out of the I just wish he shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up and go out there and ball. Go get another ring. Show that you can do it without LeBron. And the thing about that, that, that that's funny because like you say you don't want to be in LeBron's shadow or anything like that no more, but you go jump in KD's shadow. That didn't make sense at all. And KD, he's one of the top players, but he ain't better than LeBron. And their career shows who, who's better and who's had a better career so far. How many finals has KD seen? How many rings has he won? And him joining, KD used to be my favorite player. Until he joined a team that beat him, that's when I had the bag up off from like, and, and then all the snake shit he be doing. Like, I don't fuck with the snakes. And then we got this clown, uh, 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 Ticket DVD, whatever the fuck his name is, Pennywise. He talking about KD. Look, for some reason, he loved taking out for KD, Kyrie, or any snake that shows your character. If you love snakes, you must be a snake yourself. But we ain't even gonna get into all that right now. I'm gonna check it. There's a lot of people I gotta check. That's, that's in another video. But back to what I was saying. He went and joined KD, but the Nets looked good. They played good in the preseason game. Everybody wants to say, look, 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 look. It's, a, it's preseason. Nobody cares about the preseason when everybody was saying, look at THT, how he was cooking to wine, he, uh, uh, way off P, PG-13. He was cooking them dudes, dropped 30, uh, 30, 10, 4, and 4 on elite defenders. And they like, oh, it's just a preseason game, but then y'all go crazy when y'all see K KD and Kyrie preseason game. Like, oh, they back, they gonna be the top team, they gonna make it to the final, this, that, and third. Alright, so why you sort of hyped up about a preseason game, man? You can't have it both ways. You gotta be one way with it. But, if Giannis make it to the finals this year, I believe, when it's all set, before that five years up, sure to get in the ring, in Milwaukee, he just need to step his game up. He, he had the pieces around him. Even last year, he had the right pieces around him. He just ain't show up in one game that they won against Miami, he didn't even play. He gotta elevate his game. Now, they definitely need more pieces. Drew Holiday was a good pickup. Good pick they lost Black Soul, uh, 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 Robin Lopez with Billy Kid. He's cool, but he ain't, ain't really hurt you. But he, they lost a lot of shooters, and that was the thing that the game plan that they put around Giannis is surround him with shooters. It's like LeBron and Cleveland. Surround him with shooters, look what he do. The man, take the team fuck. Giannis, they repeating the same thing with Antetokounmpo. But he got a five year extension, 228 years. I believe he gonna get a ring before the contract is up. Now, like I say, he's my favorite player. If he don't get a jump shot by, he'll have a jump shot by now. I, I believe so. But I don't got him winning Boston rings in Milwaukee, especially with AD and LeBron in LA. 
Cause AD ain't doing nothing but getting better and better and better and better. And this year, you gonna see him getting even better cause he plays aggressive in the paint and he also plays a finesse game with a mid-range jumper. Now he got the three ball to this game. AD is unstoppable and he a beast on defense. So that's the difference between him and KD. Both of them tall and can shoot. They got, they finesse with the mid-range. But AD more superior on defense than KD. Not saying that AD better than KD because right now we not. But he had the potential and ability and opportunity to be better than KD this year. Because if he gets a regular season MVP or even a finals MVP, I just might put him ahead of KD. Because what has KD done without the Golden State Warriors? He won a regular season MVP, a couple scoring titles. What else? It's easy as shit. I could have won a regular with Golden State. Well, like, it's four All-Stars, two MVPs on one team. That's why he had to leave Golden State. I wish he'd have went to Washington because dude from Maryland, just like I'm from Maryland, from Baltimore, he's from PG. So we, we, we just grasped him when it comes to sports. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like the Wizards. So that's why I'm not a Wizards fan. I've always been a Lakers fan. If Baltimore had the same, that would be my thing. But you know what? I got, I got, I got the Lakers getting in the game this year on a repeat. Hopefully they do a repeat. Hopefully KD and them have got something to say about that, and the Bucks got something to say about that, and we get a good finals. But that's all I got for right now. Man. Like, y'all stay safe and get back to Dennis. I got more content coming, better content, and we're doing things different this go around. And I got you, man. Mob Life Entertainment, Chat Life TV. Like I said, my boy Money Mob will pick up the new single. You know what I'm saying? iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, it's all over the place. Mob Life. Yeah. If I ain't got nothing, yeah, I got big trust. These bitches be cruddy as fuck. If I ain't got nothing, yeah, I got big trust.